If you want to create neater color changes and eliminate the chains at the beginning of a row, then standing stitches are a perfect solution. In this video, I'm going to show you the basic stitches. So let's take a look at how to do our first stitch. I have a swatch here, we're ready to change color. I'm going to be demonstrating first a UK standing double crochet, which is a US standing single crochet. We're going to begin by creating a slip knot and inserting our crochet hook. Now what we would normally do, uh, the standard way to change is to go into the first stitch and then yarn over, pull through for a slip stitch, chain one and then do our double crochet into this very first stitch. And you can see here that this knot is at the bottom and it can leave that stitch looking a little bit bulky and it can end up by making your ends look a little bit wonky. So let's take a look at what we would do instead. I'm going to take out my stitches and then put my slip knot back on to my crochet hook. So let's go ahead and find that first stitch. We're going to go straight into that stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook and then yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. And there we have our very first standing stitch. You can continue by doing some double crochets across and I'll just show you how this now looks. So now we have our stitches and then the knot is at the top of the stitch rather than the bottom and then we only have one stitch here which gives a nice clean edge. There is a way to do this without the knot so I'll show you that later on in the video after I've demonstrated each of the stitches if you want an even cleaner edge. Let's move on to standing half treble crochet, which is standing half double crochet in US terms. I have my slip knot on my hook. And what we want to do here is we want to place our finger on this slip knot, yarn over. I'm also going to place my finger on that, uh, on the yarn on my hook as well. While I insert into that very first stitch, I'm going to yarn over and pull through that stitch. I'm going to hold on to this tail end just here and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook and there we have our first stitch. I'm just going to go ahead and continue with a few more stitches so that you can see what that first stitch looks like once the row has built a little bit. But there we have the standing half treble crochet Again, we can see that this knot is at the top of the stitch rather than at the bottom, but it gives a much cleaner edge. Now let's take a look at a standing treble crochet, which is standing double crochet in US terms. Again, you have your slip knot on the hook. Want to place our finger on there, yarn over, and also place your finger on the strand, which is on the hook. Go into that very first stitch, yarn over and pull through. We want to hold on to this tail end here, just to secure that into place. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, pull through those last two loops on the hook. I'll go ahead and do a few more stitches on this row. So again, the, the knot is at the top of the work. And there we have a UK standing treble crochet, which is a US standing double crochet. So now let's take a look at a UK standing double treble crochet, which is a US standing treble crochet. We have our slip knot on our hook. We're going to yarn over twice and place our fingers on those loops on the hook. Go into that first stitch and go ahead and hold down this tail end. Going to yarn over, pull through. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through two loops. Still holding on to this tail end. Yarn over, pull through two loops. This one might be a tiny bit tricky because it's a, it's a taller stitch. 
Um, so you might need to adjust your finger slightly. And then yarn over, pull through those last two loops on the hook. And I'll just add a few more stitches here. And there we have our standing double treble, which is our standing treble in US terms. So let's take a look at how we're going to do this without the slip knot at the beginning. We are going to essentially do the same technique. However, we're going to hold the yarn in our hand like this. Now, this is actually easier if you hold your hook in pencil hold. Slightly more tricky if you hold it in knife hold like I do. So the way that I do this is I actually lay the yarn down with my hook. And then instead of doing the slip knot, we're going to do a yarn over. So that first yarn over is going to replace the slip knot. So if we were to do a double crochet, which is a US single crochet, we would just go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then this would class as the two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, both loops on the hook. But we can see that this tail end isn't secure yet. So I'm going to just hold that down like so, and then go ahead and do another stitch which will secure it into place. I'll just do another few stitches just to give the space to show you what this is like. But if we turn our stitches this way, we can see we have one, two, three, four stitches. And this tail end here actually sticks out just after this first stitch. So you will have to make sure that you are um, sewing that in and also ensure you're not pulling it too tight because you will lose that stitch, that first stitch otherwise. So let's take a look at what this looks like with a slightly taller stitch. We will use a treble crochet, which is US double crochet. Again, we're going to lay the um, yarn down. I'm going to hold it with my hook or you can just hold it in your hand if it's easier for you. We'll replace that Slip, slip knot with a yarn over. And then for a treble crochet, we're going to yarn over and go into that first stitch. Yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And then yarn over, pull through two. So both loops on the hook. I'm just going to then place this tail end between my finger and thumb here. While I do the next stitch, like so. I'll just add a few more just so that you can see. But we now have one, two, three, four stitches. So here's the fourth stitch, one, two, three, four. Again, make sure that you're not pulling on this too tight. If you pull on that too tight, you will lose that stitch because the tail end will come out after that first stitch. So these stitches are a really nice way to keep everything really nice and neat and tidy and create an actual stitch instead of a chain and a stitch. Now this will only work when you are adding new yarn. It won't work if you are then going to the next row and um, building another stitch. If you want to learn what to do in that case when you're just using a single colour then you might want to check out this video just here.